Hi, my name is Mitch. I'm the CEO here at Joinit. On this channel, we discuss all things membership and we dive into best practices when it comes to running your membership organization. So if you like that kind of content, I encourage you to follow along. Today, we're gonna to dive into the question, how long does it take to launch with Joinit? Or my favorite variation, oh my gosh, I need to launch by next week, can you help? To which I always say, absolutely. Sincerely, we've helped organizations launch in an afternoon, but the more nuanced answer depends on your specific needs. Let's dig into the actual process of launching with Joinit or pretty much any other membership software. Now, in this process, first you have the evaluation, and then you move on to the decision and payment. And lastly, you have the actual onboarding, which I break down into multiple steps later into the video. So let's actually dig into each of these. Now, the first part of the process is evaluation, and this is really dependent on your organization. Some folks can dive in, get what they need, and make a decision very quickly, while others need a more considered process. We have a video that helps you lay out 10 features that you need to look into when evaluating membership software. That might help. Another way we can help is we provide many different ways for you to complete this evaluation. You can schedule a meeting with one of our teammates. We're happy to email or chat with you to answer any questions, or you can sign up for a free trial and really dig in and feel what it's like to use the software. So the evaluation part is very personalized to you, but we're here to support you however you need it. Now, the second step in this process is decision and purchase. This is the part that has the widest variance among our customers. So when folks ask, how long does it take to launch with Joinit? Often the real answer is, how quickly can you make a decision? We've had organizations, and I kid you not, they'll sign up, they'll go through two years of testing the software, not making a decision with their board and stakeholders, and then they'll eventually come around. We're happy with that but we'd love to support a faster process if possible. So this depends on your organization, what you need to get stakeholders rallied and how to get over that hump and make that decision. But once it's done, we're here to support you with the next step, which is onboarding. Once the decision and purchase has been made, you move into the onboarding step in this process. And this is where our expertise really kicks in. We've onboarded over 1700 organizations from different circumstances, and we can really apply that experience to make it as smooth as possible for you. Now, in the next part, I'll break down the different parts and components that go into onboarding. We break it down into three primary components the member import, the connecting payment processing, and the integrating to your website. Now we talk about how our expertise and experience makes this as smooth as possible for you. So let's dig in. The first component of onboarding is member imports. And this sounds a bit silly, but it's actually my favorite part. A lot of our customers join it as their first formal membership platform. So that means currently their member data sits in different sources, it's not formatted correctly, and it's really hard to leverage. So when they come to us, they need help getting it all ready for import. Internally, we call our team Spreadsheet Ninjas, and they're able to take that data from different sources and different formats and put it all into one and get it ready for import. So you can really leverage our expertise to make this part go smooth. Step two in onboarding is connecting payment processing. And this one has the biggest disconnect. It sounds complicated and it's intimidating, but the actual operations of doing this takes less than five minutes. Now, behind the scenes with your organization, there might be a more difficult part to say, oh, who's actually setting up the account? Is it our treasurer? Is it the owner? Is it the board member? So that part might be difficult to decide internally, but I want to assure you that when you're ready to actually make the connection and set up your account, it's less than five minutes and it's super quick to do. So don't be intimidated. And if you need any assistance, we're glad to answer any questions. Step three is integrating your website or online presence. You have a place online where members go to find more information to join or update their information. You just need to make sure that's connected to the join it software. We make this dead simple. We have a guide that you can share with your webmaster that gives them a lay of the land and the appropriate links to help make that connection dead simple. Now, those are the three primary tasks for completing your onboarding, importing your members, connecting your payment processing, and integrating your website. Now, we also have some bonus tasks that we point you in the right direction for. These are connecting additional systems like email marketing and bookkeeping, inviting additional admins, and then customizing the system like automated email templates and landing pages. So when asking the question, how long does it take to launch with Joinit? Sincerely, the answer is we can help you launch within an afternoon. We can apply our expertise and experience to make it as smooth as possible for your organization. But the reality is sometimes there's internal things, whether that's in the evaluation or decision-making process that make it a little longer, but we're always here to help. You can reach us at support at joinit.com or the links below. I hope you'll follow along on this channel and we'll see you on the next video.